Hey Frontline fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you that all-important late comic book review so you, the fans, can still make decisions of what comic books to buy. And fans, today we're talking about Four Kids Walk Into a Bank. How awesome is that title? It's like a joke. What do you get when four kids walk into a bank, everybody? I don't know. And I guess we'll find out because this is a five-chapter series. This is done by Black Mask. And they're the same people that brought you uh, We Can Never Go Home. And that is a very well done story. Um, this book is actually done by uh, Matthew Rosenberg. He's the writer and the art is done by Tyler Boss. Uh, the art is really well done in this book. It's, it's pretty simplistic. I love the lettering and the word bo bubbles in this book as well, as the book does a nice job at explaining multiple times of who your main characters are, because I feel that since there were so many characters, they made it a thing to constantly tell you who the characters were, so you get to know them and, and be a part of their uh, personality. So I thought that was really well done. Again, they're brought up over here. Uh, but the artwork was really well done. There's this distinctive wallpaper all the way through the, the house as you continue to uh, read this issue, which was very creative. Um, the architectural designs is really well done as something you would take in like architect class when you were like had your electives when you, when you were in middle school or high school where you get to just see the basic bedroom and then you get to see the bathroom layout. It's just something you would see in an architect uh, design. So I thought that was really well done. The paneling is awesome uh, as it's very similar um, uh, to the series. Uh, we can never go home as it's just like at these whole bunch of characters on there just doing one word explanations and, and dialogue. I thought that was really well done also. So now that I like like the lettering and I like the, the artwork and I love the architectural design and I love the title, how is the actual story in this book? Well, to give you a recap on this story, just so you know what it's about, make you maybe want to be interested in it, uh, we find out that it's just it's normal everyday kids. Uh, they're at home playing like Dungeons and Dragons, and they're first introduced uh, by by just mythological characters, you know. And then as the story progresses and it gets into this real world, once soda spills all over the story, you finally get to meet our characters and what they look like, and kind of a little bit of description of them, and you get to see uh, about Paige how. Uh, she's like, the, this is her house, and all her friends are playing there. We have a guy, his name is Stretch, because he's really tall. And um, they're all around 11 and 12 years old. And uh, you wind up getting to meet Mr. Turner, who is actually the father in the household, who is the, the father of Paige. And, uh, you know, it's just kids playing around at the house, and the father's like, am I going to have to send you kids home, you know? And so what happens is we get these unsuspecting characters that enter the house, and uh, we get to see their introduction as well. These are not such good-looking characters. And Paige is sitting there going, hey, you're not allowed in our house. And uh, she tries to stop them. And these guys are kind of like assholes. And it's pretty cool because the book gives you like this, this like message, you know, that you get like on cigarette packs, like warning, you know, uh, smoking could cause lung cancer and this and that. And here it gives you kind of a reminder. Uh, uh, under almost no circumstances is it okay to wander into somebody's house uninvited to sucker punch him, uh, punch a kid in the face. So I thought that was really neat. So these guys are kind of sent out of the house after you know they're you know they're they're sent out by the kids, and um, we get to see more crazy dialogue with these kids. So you, the reader gets to know them, and uh, it's just funny how they deal with certain situations at, at school. How one kid, how Paige is being bullied by some kid calling him a lesbian, and then he's like, "Oh, is he your girlfriend?" And she's kind of like, "Well, what am I, a lesbian or his girlfriend?" And he's like, "Both." And the and she's like, "You're just a homophobe." And there's just so many great moments like that uh, in this book. And then you wind up seeing that those. Those crazy cast of characters that entered in the house uh, were kind of just protecting Paige and her friends. And they all get into the car together and they all wind up going back to the house. And the father's kind of mad at Paige saying, what were you doing getting in with those guys? Those guys are not good. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, Dad. I thought I was just, you know, doing the right thing. And, uh, and then you get to see her communicate with her friends. She doesn't have a cell phone. So what do you use? Use a freaking CB radio, which is freaking awesome. 
and they have this whole conversation on there and there's so many great lines in there it's just something that you have to read to really appreciate in the book and by the time we wind up getting to the end of this book they really want to know who these characters are and why they're so infatuated with the father and the father's house and everything else so they wind up doing this stakeout and even the stakeout is really hilarious in the uh, actual issue how uh, one kid is just bored out of his mind and whatnot and then by the time you wind up getting to the end of the issue you find out what the you, you find out that Paige's father is involved with these characters in much much more ways than than what you think so uh, really interesting book all the way around it was an awesome book I I, I gotta give it a five stars it was so well written and uh, it's something that I haven't really read before you know uh, just seeing these kids trying to stake out some misleading looking characters and trying to find out what the father's involvement is and just all their dialogue and how they deal with everyday life and it just it's just really awesome and and I enjoyed this book and it makes me want to find out what happens going forward so I can't wait to read issues two three four and five on this and if you guys pass this up or you didn't know what to expect from it go ahead check it out I think you're gonna when you read it you're gonna really appreciate the dialogue that it has to offer for its readers and it's a lot of fun so again guys check out four kids walk into a bank five stars from Mike Spider Slayer guys leave me in the comments below if you read this actual book and fans, as always, thank you for watching Comic Frontline. Don't forget to check out our live show each and every Tuesday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we talk about the comic book industry's top news of the week. And we also give our top five comic books of the week. And uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter uh, and like us on Facebook. So again, fans, thank you for watching. And again, this is Mike Spider Center signing off. And thanks for watching Comic Frontline. Take care, fans. Bye.